if you have to ask yourself, is this right? It probably isn't. A serious security hole has been attacking internet users for a week now. How to protect your information from hackers. Well, tonight we're learning more about a new computer virus and anyone who surfs the internet could be at risk. Just today, Microsoft issued a warning to all Windows users. So how does it work and what can we do? New tonight, Fox News' Eli Stokels put those questions to an expert and joins us with the answers. Eli? Well, Libby, this is a big concern to anybody surfing the net on Internet Explorer. On that program, there's a couple hundred of the computers in this newsroom where we work, people who are doing that every day, don't go into sites like Yahoo that are not secure, even to banking sites that look secure, putting in passwords, all kinds of information that can be accessed by hackers. So we brought in a guy who says he is the good hacker, and he told us some of the ways that we can keep the bad hackers out. With one website, one click, you could be giving hackers exactly what they want. Your bank account information, your social security card information, if you have it on there, anything on your computer, he has full access to. Full access to your passwords, your money, your security. They can buy just about anything on your credit if your credit's good enough. They can get into your life and just really invade your life. They're doing it through Internet Explorer by corrupting or spoofing websites. They'll take a website, they'll make their website look a lot like that website. They'll Digital investigator Charles Tendell says one click on a corrupt site or link can allow the hackers access to everything on your PC. How can you tell if a site is legit? Charles says on most banking sites you'll see HTTPS and this lock icon in the URL or the status bar. What it means is that you're transmitting all of your information securely. If you don't see it, you could be on a corrupted site. Charles says you also want to disable your ActiveX controls and be wary of dropdowns asking about ActiveX using sites. But there's a bar that will drop down right here that will say ActiveX, the site wants to use ActiveX controls, do you want to do it? Unless you're sure about the site, say no. And above all, watch for weird messages in your email. You get, you'll get a random email that'll look like it'll come from some off the wall email address. Be suspicious, even if that message appears to be from a friend. Call them, text them, you know, pick up the phone, see, hey, did you send me this random email that's got this random information and I don't know what's going on here. No, man, I didn't send it to you. Discard it. You have to ask yourself, is this right? It probably isn't. Now, to be clear, this is something that's affecting PCs that run Microsoft Windows. If you've got a Mac at home, this worm is not going to affect you. Microsoft's working on a patch or a software fix to this problem, but this has been out there a week. They haven't gotten it yet. Charles says these things, these viruses, worms, they come along one after the other. So even if they fix this one, it's always a good idea to keep those tips in mind, Libby, because you never really know what's out there trying to get at your computer. Or just like me, just turn the computer off. Or do that. <laughs> All right, Eli, thanks. Sure.